The orders were read and history was made. By the authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-5, Army Command Policy, the undersigned assumes command of Headquarters United States Army Sustainment Command, effective 2 September 2009, signed Eve Fontaine, Major General, United States Army Commanding. With this time-honored tradition, Major General E. Fontaine assumed command of the Army Sustainment Command at Rock Island Arsenal September 2nd. Major General Robert Radden is now at the Pentagon as the Army's Assistant Deputy Chief of Staff for Logistics. Radden shared many heartfelt memories, perhaps the most important was on fallen comrades. I finally remember how proud I was of the times that our workforce lined Rodden and Avenue here in honor of our fallen comrades. Staff Sergeant Nathan Cox, Corporal Jason Puff, and Sergeant Duff, uh, Justin Duffy, who are buried here at the National Cemetery just over to my right. Today, we have Annie Cox, Nathan's wife, Lester Cox, Nathan's father, Terry Johnson, Jason's mother, and David Posh, Jason's father, here with us today. Your loved one's sacrifice to our great nation will never be forgotten. Not by me. Not by the people of Rock Island, Arsenal, and not by the people of the Quad Cities. Please join me in a round of applause for these brave families. The ceremony was unique to the command because two senior civilian staff members participated in the ceremony. In the same way, Radden said, they and other civilians bring command strength to ASC. Now I deliberately said troops and not soldiers because as you can see, we have key Department of the Army civilians as our staff members. Truth be told, they were just a little bit about nervous about being part of this ceremony for the first time in their career. But I think it was very important to demonstrate this command strength, which is the melding of soldiers and Department of the Army civilians into one team. The Army's first female four-star general, General Ann Dunwoody, commanding general of the Army Material Command, ASC's higher headquarters, proudly spoke on Radin's accomplishments of the past two years. To sum it up, in the past two years, under Bob's guiding hand, have been two years of steady progress on all fronts, two years of supporting our soldiers in an era of persistent conflict, and two years of building a remarkable team that will continue to transform Army Sustainment Command. Fontaine was the commanding general of the 21st Theater Sustainment Command, headquartered in Kaiserslautern, Germany. Dunwoody assured that Fontaine was ready to lead ASC. They don't come any better qualified for, and ready for command than Eves. He knows what right looks like and he understands what support to the warfighter means. His experience has prepared him extremely well. He has served him in the most demanding staff and command positions throughout his career. He's had a range of mechanized infantry divisional assignments. He's commanded the 82nd FSB, served at the G4 of the 82nd Airborne Division, commanded Special Operations Support Command at Fort Bragg, commanded the First Corps Support Command at Bragg, and most recently the 21st Theater Sustainment Command for Yukon. But I think the most important thing for you to know about General Fontaine is that he knows how to take care of soldiers, civilians, and their families. Keeping with tradition, the incoming commander kept his remarks short, highlighting his commitment to those he now leads and continuing the close bond with the Quad Cities. To the ASC troopers, non-commissioned officers, officers, civilians, and family members, your reputation for excellence is renowned as you represent the MC patch and community all over the world. Kathy and I are honored to serve with you as we tackle all future challenges. To the Quad City community, we look forward to meeting each and every one of you and carrying on the fantastic relationship Bob and Sarah Radden have established within your communities. We have experienced your warm welcome the past couple of weeks and already feel at home. The ceremony contained all the elements that embody tradition, drill and ceremony, pride and professionalism. Highlights included music,
the color guard, inspection of troops, and the firing of 13 rounds commensurate for an outgoing commander with the rank of Major General. And ASC's chaplain offered this prayer. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day, a day that is joyous yet bittersweet. We ask your blessing for the Raddens, for their commitment, their caring, their gift of themselves to us and our community. For the Fontaines, as they begin this command journey, we ask for wisdom, judgment, and compassion. Give General Fontaine strength as he leads. Speaking to the media after the ceremony, Dunwoody said that while AMC and ASC have challenging times ahead with the drawdown in Iraq and the buildup in Afghanistan, things will work out during this transition in leadership. You know, the Army has this wonderful way, uh, continuity command, a commander who's just made such a great difference, Bob Radden and his wife Sarah, with the entire community. You bring in a new command team, and as we always do, a new command team, new energy, new ideas, takes it to the next level. I'm John Connor for the Army Sustainment Command Public Affairs Office at Rock Island Arsenal.